Well, just like Kendrick said, now that the BMAs are over, I think it's time for the party to die. Cause Kendrick just dragged Nicki Minaj for filth for hating on him, and it looks like she might be getting that Drake treatment. Because Nicki went off on Kendrick and Jay-Z after it was announced that Kendrick would be performing at the Super Bowl next year. But you probably didn't get the memo that Kendrick is not the one you want to mess with. Because he is as savage and petty as Elf. He doesn't hold back his punches. Well, he had a lot to say about Nicki, and then clowned her for going on a coke R against him, and teased his diss track against her and Drake. It looks like Nicki has unleashed the beast, because Kendrick came for her, and he came for her hard. But, to be fair, Nicki went on that rant because she was defending her friend and mentor Lil Wayne, who she believed should be the one to perform at the Louisiana Super Bowl. But Kendrick got caught in the middle. On the other hand, a lot of people believe that she was throwing stones and hiding her hands, because it seemed like her real target was Jay-Z and Rock Nation, and she was just using Lil Wayne as a cover to shade Jay. Now, for context, Nicki has had a long-time beef with Jay-Z and Rock Nation, and she has often taken advantage of situations in the past to throw shade. For example, when Megan Thee Stallion shaded her in her song Hiss. Earlier this year, Nicki was so convinced that Jay-Z and Rock Nation had put Megan up to do it. She said, she also posted a screenshot of an ad by Rock Nation on Twitter, where they were promoting this song, and she said, spending so much money, but she's a little broken dependent artist. Desiree, you got to let it go. Baby. The world knows she's ass and can't rap. Stop trying to make Fetch happen. I just put out a song with no promo, no video, it's already number two. This blogger summed up the issue nicely, saying that the beef is really over H and Yance and how she don't mess with old girl anymore like that. B Ben fell back, no matter what's posted on social media after this. In real life, they don't want their name attached to old boy with the criminal record. She then went on Twitter spaces to accuse Jay-Z and Rock Nation of sponsoring a hate campaign against her. And um, the paid for TikToks and the paid for tweets to the point where people got their little $250 for, for their tweet to say something bad about Nicki Minaj. And then the next day it was like, bitch, yeah, it, I, anyway, I'm gone. Right? I'm listening to the book book. So I don't know why anybody of that, and I'm, and I'm not talking about any rapper, I'm talking about a company or company. So yeah, she still don't like Jay-Z very much. And if you're wondering why her beef with Jay-Z has anything to do with her current rant or her brewing beef with Kendrick, it's because Rock Nation and Apple Music are co-producers of the Super Bowl halftime show. This means that Jay-Z got a huge say in who gets to perform at the Super Bowl, which directly translates to the fact that he approved Kendrick as the performer. For some reason, Nicki took this as a personal slight against her, and she went off on Jay-Z on Twitter, accusing him of sabotaging and disrespecting Lil Wayne just to get back at her. She wrote, I love watching the whole industry play dumb time after time. The truth is the truth, no matter who tells it. Picking and choosing who accept truth from. Then Bam Pow. Might tell you a joke, but won't tell you a lie she also said, go and enjoy your money before it's too late. Denying a young man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. He going to get you ninjas in line every time. Got everything in the world, still spiteful and evil. Disgusting. Be happy, I beg. Go be happy, ninja in rap business, in women business. When you got the politicians and police, you good though. Plus, that ugly Laffy Taffy alien. But who's the Laffy Taffy alien? No, she not talk about B, she also said, and by the way, you don't know the half of what Lil Wayne has done for me and others. Wayne had Drake and I on his tour with no papers signed. He was on all of my mixtapes with no papers signed. This man has literally changed the face of hip-hop, the hair too, if you know you know. He inspired so many to tap their faces and get locks, inspired your faves to want to be great. See, he never was in this for the money. It's always been for the love of music she ended her rant with. That's why so many people keep saying to give our legends their flowers while they're still around to smell them. Sitting around all day playing games with people and legacy guarding sleep. Think about this for a second. Lil Wayne, headline Super Bowl in New Orleans. How badly do you want to hear those words? This is 
that is I would want to see my name at the top of that list when I was that whatever age it was and I would bust into the office and get that billboard magazine. This has nothing to do with and that's so crazy that it has nothing to do with the sport as an artist. You perform for the what? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what I mean? Like what? Yeah. Like going to a Super Bowl before and yeah. watching the halftime show. It's nothing like and it. And wishing, you know, like when you see the artist, you're like I know they could have sung the song that I was featured on. I'm featured on everybody's song. <laughs> yeah, they could have yeah. brought me out. <laughs> you could have brought me out. Could have brought me out. But to be fair to Nikki, her rant was not exactly out of the blue. See, next year's Super Bowl is going to be held in New Orleans, which is Lil Wayne's hometown. So there were high hopes that he was going to be the one headlining the show. Lil Wayne has also said years ago that one of his biggest dreams was to perform at the Super Bowl in New Orleans. So when Kendrick was announced as the headliner, some people felt a way about that. And Lil Wayne's manager wrote, confused, disappointed, angry, but most of all, inspired. We'll never again be in a position or have the GOAT in a position where we are at the mercy of someone else's decision. We will make the decisions now. Everybody seems to be hung up on the argument that Wayne should perform because it's his hometown. But if you look at this list of Super Bowl performances in the last 30 years, only three artists have performed in their hometown, which tells us that the hometown argument doesn't really hold much weight. I mean, Beyonce wasn't even asked to perform in her hometown of Houston, and know how hard she reps H-Town, it's going down. But that's not all, because a lot of people also felt like Lil Wayne should be not even considered. But don't get me wrong, he is a GOAT and will always remain one, but he's just not as hot in 2024 as he was back in the 2010s. Back then, he had the rap game unlocked, and he was one of the biggest artists in the world. He should have gotten to perform at the Super Bowl back then, because very few artists were touching his greatness at the time. That's just not the case right now. He reportedly has addiction issues, and he can't even remember his lyrics half the time when he's on stage. Um, I forget a lot, <laughs> but it's only, it's only, yeah, it's only yeah. forgotten when it's uh, time to perform it. Right. Yeah, when it's time, if you ask me what I said and we in the conversation, you ask me what I said, it's right off back, I know exactly what mm. I said, it's unforgettable. Right. Because also, what that said, all we do is smoke, but all I also do is work. Mm. Fans have also pointed out that his recent performances have been meh, to say the least. And fans try to point this out to Nikki, like this person that said the first rapper to headline the Super Bowl halftime show needed to be someone who will represent the art to its highest degree. That was not Lil Wayne in 2024. However, Nikki was not trying to hear all that, and she said, God will punish you, mark my words. The man that has not only pushed his pen the hardest but gave the game more than one hip-hop icon as well on his watch. Represent the rap game. The best rapper don't represent the rap game well enough for you black people? Wow. If this don't hurt your heart to read, it will one day. Look at how our legends keep being treated after they've given so much to us. Okay. Nikki, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love Lil Wayne and his relevance to the culture can never be taken away from him. And like I said, it's kind of insulting that he was never asked to headline the Super Bowl before now. But, if we're being honest, Kendrick is a hotter artist right now. But speaking of Kendrick, an insider revealed that he feels a type of way about Nicki's rant and took it personally. The insider claimed that while Kendrick appreciates her loyalty in standing up for her mentor, he thinks she should have just made her point without dragging him into it. The insider also pointed out how Nikki has this weird habit of trying to throw other artists under the bus to prove her point, what she tried to do with Lotto when she was calling out the Grammys for being biased against her in 2022. And already know Kendrick is a beast with the pen, and he does not play about his music and he does not play about his name. And the source teased that Nikki is going to get the Drake treatment from Kendrick if she keeps at it, and that he allegedly already has his pen out to clap back at her know how Kendrick does not do social media rants, he just hits the studio and claps back. No, he be on that heavy black for energy. And the fans have been all over it, listening to his new diss track, saying Nikki's so high right now, she forgot Kendrick is black. Streets saying the new Kendrick song is a Nikki diss. Kendrick is going to come out with a song about this whole entire situation, shading Nikki and performing at the Super Bowl. I have a feeling. And Nikki's motive for this rant is entirely selfish. She was hoping to finally make it on that stage. 
The craziest thing about it is that Kendrick is definitely paying homage to Wayne in that performance, no question. Honestly, I have to agree with that last one. But let me know how you feel about this in the comments. Did hear that new diss track? Do you think it was aimed at Nikki? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then check out this next video.